Uh, I know that uh, there are probably some something left to be consumed, but we're going to get started. We have uh, a delightful panel. Uh, I'm Robert Young, a member of the Michigan Supreme Court, whose delightful duty this afternoon it is to moderate this panel discussion on federal policy on drug enforcement. Uh, first, the topic. Signaling a sharp uh, departure for more than 20 years of federal policy, the Obama administration has urged Congress to equalize the sentencing for crack and powder cocaine dealing. The administration also uh, viewed about to end raids against medical uh, marijuana clubs that are legally established under state law and called for federal funding on needle exchange programs. Four former leaders of Latin American nations, Vincente Fox and Ernesto Zedillo of Mexico, uh, Cesar Gaviera of Colombia, Fernando Enrique uh, Cardozo of Brazil, have called for the decriminalization of marijuana for a decade uh, and for a debate about the uh, legalization of other drugs. In uh, 2004, then Senator Obama called the United States decades of get tough law enforcement against drugs, quote, an utter failure, and stated that he believed in, quote, shifting the paradigm uh, so that uh, 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 the focus could be on a more uh, public health approach. Uh, as recently announced by the uh, U.S. Attorney General uh, and his declination to prosecute marijuana cases in states that permit use of medical marijuana, drug enforcement policies are clearly changing under the Obama administration, but it's unclear by how much. Some consider this a step backwards. Uh, that will lead to increased drug use with its concomitant uh, social ills and related uh, crime, while others view this as an advancement in the cause of increasing individual liberties and a more realistic approach to addressing health problems exacerbated through uh, drug use, violence associated with drug cartels and racial disparities in enforcement. Our panel of experts will uh, dis address these and other issues. And now the members of the panel. In alphabetical order uh, is John Baker, Jr. He's Professor, uh, 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 Professor Baker is the Dale Bennett Professor of Law at LSU Law Center. He has been the director of LSU's uh, Latin America program. He's a visiting professor uh, at the law school of UPC in Lima, Peru during 2009-10. Uh, 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 he is uh, a Fulbright scholar in the Philippines, um, a lecturer in Hong Kong. He uh, regularly teaches constitutional law, comparative constitutional law on many other uh, subjects, including international law, anti-terrorism law, et cetera. Uh, he teaches a course on separation of powers with the with U.S. Supreme Court uh, Justice Scalia. He received his Ph.D. with honors from the University of Michigan Law School, and his B.A. Uh, magna cum laude from the University of Dallas, and earned a Ph.D. from uh, the University of London. Um, he has since law school uh, uh, served on the ABA task force which issued the report Federalization of Crime. His writings include uh, the following books, Intelligence uh, Edge, Halls of uh, Criminal Law, uh, Cases and Materials, among many others. And his popular publications include several articles in the Wall Street Journal, most recently our unconstitutional sentence, uh, census in August uh, of this year. R.E.A. Nair. Uh, is President Open Society Institute. Prior to joining uh, the society in 1993, Mr. Nair uh, uh, served uh, for 12 years as the Executive Director of Human uh, Rights Watch. Before that, he spent 15 years at the American Civil Liberties Union, including eight years as a National uh, Director. Uh, for more than a dozen years, Mr. Nair has uh, served as adjunct professor of law at New York University. 
He's a frequent contributor to uh, the New York uh, Review of Books, has published in periodicals such as the New York Times Magazine, the New York Times Book Review, uh, The Nation Foreign Policy. Uh, Mr. Nair has contributed more than 150 op-ed articles in newspapers, including the New York Times, the Washington Post, Boston Globe, and others. Uh, the author of six books, Mr. Nair, has contributed chapters to more than 35 books. He's a naturalized American, born in Nazi Germany, and became a refugee at, a refugee at an early age. He is the recipient of six honorary degrees, the American Bar Association's Gavel Award, among others. Uh, Mariano Florentino Cuellar. He's the special assistant to the president uh, for Justice and Regulatory Policy, Domestic Policy Council. Uh, he uh, is on leave from the faculty of Stanford uh, Law School, where he is professor uh, and uh, uh, Dean Johnson faculty uh, scholar. His teaching and research centers on how organizations manage complex regulatory criminal justice and security challenges. And during the second term of the Clinton administration, he served as the US Department of Treasury senior advisor to the Undersecretary for Enforcement. Since then, he has been uh, working on or served on numerous boards, uh, including the uh, asylum access at the Stanford Center, uh, the San Francisco Lawyer Civil Rights uh, Committee for Civil Rights, and others. Uh, he has uh, advised the Obama campaign on criminal policy, justice policy, as well as immigration. He earned his uh, uh, A.B. cum laude from Harvard College. He thereafter made a fatal mistake and graduated from Yale Law School. Uh, and he has a Ph.D. apparently from Stanford. Uh, he is uh, married to uh, Mary Schroeder, who is the chief I'm not married to Mary Schroeder, no. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry, clerk for it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting very bizarre. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> this, this, this came from a conversation we had. His wife is a judge, but she, she's not Mary Schroeder. He clerked for her, who was the chief judge <laughs> of the U.S. Court of Appeals. I'm sorry. All right. Finally, John, John Walters. Uh, is the executive vice president of the Hudson Institute, a nonprofit, uh, nonpartisan research uh, education so, uh, dedicated to global security, prosperity, and freedom. And he has extensive experience in foreign and domestic policy and philanthropy. Uh, from uh, uh, December uh, 2001 to January 2009, he was edit, uh, director of the White House Office of National uh, Drug Control Policy and a cabinet member during the Bush administration. Uh, he guided all aspects of federal drug policy and programs, supporting efforts that reduce teen drug use 25%, increase substance abuse treatment and screening in the healthcare system, and drop the availability of cocaine and methamphetamine in the United States. He also helped build critical programs uh, to counter terrorism in America, Colombia, Mexico, and Afghanistan. From 96 and 2001, Mr. Walters was president of the Ph Philanthropy Roundtable, a national association of charitable foundations and individual donors. And his prior government service included work at the Office of National Drug Control Policy at its founding in uh, 1989. Uh, as he was chief of staff at the time. Um, he also served in the Division of Education Programs at the National Endowment of the Humanities. Uh, he has taught uh, political science at Michigan State uh, University's James Madison uh, College and Boston College. Now, so we have a very prestigious and experienced panel uh, my goal as moderator is uh, to get the ball rolling. I know from the uh, email exchanges between the panel members leading up to this, it doesn't take very much accelerant to get things going. And so I thought I'd try and uh, ask a few provocative questions and uh, let the uh, panel uh, stake out their positions. Uh, thereafter, my role is just to ensure that uh, we have a thoughtful discussion and to staunch any blood flow.